Good morning, Capricorn. Narai here. Going to do a quick reading for you guys. I've already put on my Florida water, so I will not be doing that again. I had to restart my video. But this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South node. Um, I will say I did a live yesterday for Capricorn. Um, I'm actually so surprised it didn't really get any views um, because it had to do with Capricorn starting Capricorn's own business. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, and then the day before, uh, or a few days ago, I did a, another live and it was all signs and it's time stamped and the portion in regards to Capricorn was good. So let's see what spirit has for us today. Spirit, what messages? Okay, you're coming out. Mm. The funny thing is manifestation, the magician card. This card came out in the reading about starting your own business, Capricorn, yesterday. It was more along the lines of starting a business or those that wanted to, like, start a YouTube channel. But you have the school, the, the schools. You have the skills and the tools to manifest whatever it is that you want to. I think that some of your, some of you have the challenge of actually believing in yourself. You may not give yourself enough credit to do the things that can be done. So this is about you feeling empowered and knowing that you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want. Part of it has to do with your thinking. You have to think positively. And then it says preparedness. And that has to do with like planning and, and I would say planning and oh wow. This is good. It has to do with planning and taking the steps. Write things down. It is stated that when you write things down, they are more than likely to happen. I know for myself, when I was regularly writing things down, I manifested a lot and I haven't been doing that and that's something I need to get back into doing. And then I have, <clears throat> oops, that's in the wrong place. And then I have the Eight of Wands. This has to do with something happening fast. This has to do with multitasking. This also has to do with boundaries, like having boundaries. And you may need boundaries in your life so that you can do certain things. Why is this about money now? So that you can do certain things? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, you're going to have to do bound, uh, have boundaries so that you can do certain things because there will be people that come in and are not respectful of your time. You're going to have to set the ground rules and you're going to have to speak up for yourself. Um, this actually came out yesterday too. The Three of Pentacles. This has to do with a collaboration, somebody wanting to work with you, being recognized for something, having talent. Your talent or there's something about you that people love and people like and that they are drawn to. And you may not even realize how powerful that is about you because it's you. You don't see yourself as everyone else does. So there could be people that really want to work with you. And for some of you, I'm going to say this. I don't know why I feel. Yeah, one moment. <laughs> Let me put these here. I don't know why when I looked at this, I was just thinking some of you guys are manifesting, trying to manifest love and it's going to come in fast and it's going to be somebody that wants to work with you. So I'm going to say this, I'm going to do the money train and then I'm going to do the love, the love. Oh yeah, we're, we're good here. Well, let me put this down for a moment. So then I have the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior. This is somebody that's protecting themselves. But this is also somebody that's being prepared. This is letting you know that you're resilient. When it comes to money, you're resilient. If you were trying something in regards to a business, YouTube channel, whatever, if you fail, it's okay. 
What's not okay is not trying because you're afraid to fail. That's what's not okay. Because that's you not believing in yourself and not putting into yourself. You're worth it. But this is you. Um, this is again about boundaries. But this is letting you know that if you fail or feel beat up in regards to relationships, in regards to starting your own business, whatever it is, you're resilient. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and try again. Hi, Leah. And so we have the King of Earth. You can be par you can be prosperous, but there may be somebody that comes into your energy that is in this energy also, where they're prosperous, they're generous, they're successful. I don't know why I feel like you guys are going to possibly attract somebody like yourself once you start this business thing, and it's going to be something that people that it's going to be something that stands out in regards to you for this person because you're holding your own and it's kind of like something very admirable about that and then i have this the star this is you guys being in the limelight whoa this is you guys being in the limelight but this is also letting you guys know in regards to love and business to, to stay inspired, to be positive, have faith, trust the universe, know that things are going to happen for you. Your dreams can come true. Wish on stars. You can manifest. Some of you are manifesting a king of pentacles. Some of you are manifesting being a, ten of pen, a king of pentacles. And then so the next cards that I had were the Ace of Fire, the Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning. This is taking action and starting a business. But for me also, when I have the Ace of Wands, especially in this particular deck, um, it makes me think of somebody taking action in regards to love too. And then I have Three of Cups. This is a reason to celebrate. This is coming together. This is finding your tribe. This is being supported. This is having friends, making friends, celebrating some sort of success, celebrating you. So we're at eight minutes now. Let's see what else comes out. Oh my God. Did I say celebrating you? And this card came out yesterday too in the, in the reading for business. The emperor, this is about you guys being stable, being able to stand on your own, this is a person that is in control. This is somebody that is organized and has structure and is like, I know what I want and I'm going to make it happen. But this could also be somebody you're attracting into your life. I'm just saying. Messages and guidance. Do I get the lovers or the two of cups or the ten of cups? Something's going to happen really fast. You have to have willpower. If you want to be in this emperor energy, these match. You have to have willpower and you will be recognized, if not by people in your life, by the universe for the efforts that you're putting in because what you have to offer is valuable. And for those of you wanting to manifest love, knowing that what you have to offer is valuable and you do not need to lessen your standards for the sake of being with somebody. Hmm. And when I said that, See, the Ten of Pentacles, that came out yesterday. This is in regards to building a legacy. And when I see the Ten of Pentacles, I tend to think of building a legacy with somebody else. And this was... Mm. Ten of Pentacles, this came out yesterday too. The Six of Cups came out yesterday. This is about... Or this was the day before yesterday. But this is about reminiscing. This is about being nostalgic. This is having memories of good times when things were innocent. This can also be reconciliation and it can also be a soulmate. I have the strength card. This is courage, compassion, and um, perseverance. This is about you being compassionate with yourself. Um, regardless of what you go through, you're human. You're not perfect. 
and having compassion, uh, compassion for others. It's also about being courageous and being strong enough to push forward. But when it comes to love and just people in general, being able to be vulnerable sometimes, not always having your guard up. I have the seven of wands. This has to do with challenges. This is strong enough to get up to get past the challenges. Challenges make you stronger anyway. This is determina determination and resistance. This is you having boundaries, protecting your energy, protecting yourself, um, standing your ground. That's what that is. I have the eight of pentacles. This has to do with working on yourself, working on your skills learning about something, being focused, paying attention to detail, writing down what you want to happen in regards to your business, writing down what you want to happen in regards to love and the type of person that you attract. Be the person that you want to attract into your life. Have your environment like that person is already there. Live your life like that person is already here. Four of water, four of cups, this is uh, distraction, self-absorption, and discontentment. I'm reading the cards today. Be sure that you're not in this energy. Don't have regrets about anything. There's a lot of things that didn't work out for you, but it's because there's better things that are going to work out for you. You just have to put in the effort. Okay. You know, wow. So I got the Knight of Wands, or excuse me, the Knight of Swords. This could be somebody coming in. This could be somebody coming in fast. That's intellectual, motivated. Um, I don't know why I feel like somebody wants to apologize. But I have the Page of Swords, and I also have the Eight of Swords. This is making sure that you don't have self-doubt. And this is a message here coming in you got messages coming in somebody may want to apologize but I have somebody's going to somebody outspoken may come up to you and they may say something that kind of has you in this energy don't allow people to distract you from what you're doing and see that's why this came out with the distraction card the four of cups it's because Somebody may tell you that they don't believe in you without saying they don't believe in you and have you question what you're doing. Don't allow that to happen. And why? Because I have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. This is going to be your wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment can happen. Just focus on what you want to happen, whether it's love, whether it's business. And this is about you guys sitting pretty and being content with your life and being independent. Ooh. This is about you planning, having goals, and actually taking action. This is making it happen. Not just having a vision, but taking action. And then I have an awakening. This is the hangman. This is about you guys seeing things from a different perspective, letting certain things go. No longer sacrificing yourself for somebody else. And then I have the high priestess. This is you trusting your intuition. We're wrapping it up. You trusting your intuition. Knowing you have the answers, being patient with yourself. This is a sun card, you being happy. This is about success because success is in the works for you. You just have to take the steps. Recognition, enthusiasm. And then I have the six of wands. This is you guys being recognized, praised, feeling more confident, knowing that you can do this, um, having more self-esteem. And then I have two of ones this has to do with planning having a partner and then i have balance this is temperance this is about you guys having balance doing things in moderation having self-control healing yourself and nurturing yourself and we're going to leave it there because i ended up with the ten of cups so there is love you just have to work on you, do what you need to do, and then um, 
you may actually find your 10 of cups by starting your business. I don't know why business is here, but I love you guys. This is somebody that you can have blessings with an abundant life. Remember we pulled the 10 of pentacles already. I don't know what else to tell you. Spirit is like really talking about business, business. So like, share, subscribe, show me some love. I love you guys. And until next time, bye.